Okay, so we're gonna work our way through the actual sheep eye. Uh, so we're gonna start with the entire sheep eye here. Um, and what I've done is I have trimmed some of the musculature and fat away from the posterior side of the eye uh, to expose uh, the optic nerve here, which is, if you can, if I change the, the orientation of a little bit here, you can see actually sticks up and off of that posterior portion of the eye, right? And then if I face it forward a little bit more the way you would normally see it, um, you've got this, what appears to be kind of a dark oval or dome-shaped structure here. This actually should be clear in life, uh, but as of right now, obviously since this sheep is no longer alive, uh, this is uh, now darkened, right? This is the cornea. Right? And the layer of tissue that we see around the entire eye, here it looks gray, but in life typically it's white. This is known as the sclera, and this is probably the best view of the sclera you're gonna see here, and you can see me depressing upon it, is the entire outside part of the eye once you get deeper past that musculature and fat. Now, this tissue here, which I have not cut away on this view, uh, would, um, you'd see lining the, under, uh, the undersides of the actual eyelids, as well as the very front part of the eye. This is called the conjunctiva, this thin tissue here, right? And so some of you have had pink eye in the past. Pink eye is otherwise known as conjunctivitis. So this is that layer of tissue that gets inflamed and infected uh, during conjunctivitis. All right, now the dissection was done by cutting a few millimeters posterior to the actual cornea here, cutting around that cornea, right? And we're left with these three uh, structures here, right? So these three portions of the actual eye. So we've got the front part of the eye, which again we've talked about as being the, the cornea here with that a portion of the sclera at least uh, surrounding it, right? Now, deep to that, if we just, or it's not deep to that, but posterior to this view here, if we flip this over here and bring it in front of us, we'll see these ridged-like structures here around the periphery of this portion here. These are known as the ciliary bodies. And right at the edge, right at the edge of the ciliary bodies where it meets the retina, where the retina would be, uh, we don't see that very well here, but um, where the two would meet, this very jagged edge here is known as the aura serrata. And so we see that very jagged edge right there at the very posterior margin of the ciliary bodies. Now, moving our way toward this kind of middle portion here, this blackish flap here that surrounds this hole or this open space here, this is known as the iris. And surrounding the iris is what we see in our eyes typically as black, but obviously here is not because it's just an open space. This is the pupil, right? So the pupil is not a structure itself, but actually an open space. All right. Now moving that here. What we have here, what looks like a really gross egg, uh, is the uh, gelatinous material that we see that helps maintain the actual shape of the eye overall. This is the vitreous humor. And this hard, well, for lack of a better term, egg yolk looking structure here uh, on the top here is actually the lens. And again, this is hardened and it's also um, discolored because again, the sheep is dead. All right, and we get to the, the rest of the eye, mostly the posterior portion of the eye here. And this white layer all the way around the eye that is the sclera. Working our way deep from the sclera, if I take my probe and, and simply get between that layer there and, the, and this, you see the black layer here that I'm lifting. That black layer is known, known as the choroid. Now, if we look here, you'll see this this discolored portion here, this discolored uh, area here that looks almost iridescent or almost like a mother of pearl. This is known as the tapetum lucidum. The tapetum lucidum is a structure that we see in uh, some other mammals we don't, uh, and, and other uh, vertebrates. We don't have it ourselves, right? Uh, so it is not a human structure and therefore you're not required to know that structure. However, if I turn this and we take a look at this very thin 
wrinkled brownish or pinkish layer, depending on how you see it. This layer here that is a bit fragmented, unfortunately, in this eye is known as the retina. So this is actually the retina and it's very delicate. And if you, if we look, we see where these pleated or these kind of folds on the retina all kind of form this kind of star formation and they all go to one centralized region right here, which again, this is easier to see uh, if you're actually right in front of it, right? But you can see all these little wrinkles or pleats going right to this kind of centralized location that is known as the optic disc uh, or the blind spot, right? And this is the area where we have no actual photoreceptors and that cannot form an, form an image on the actual retina.